Hey, it's Liam Killen, and I'm gonna show you how to quickly pump up your drums and improve your tracks. The plugin that I'm using is free, and it's called the Native Instruments Audio Degradation Suite. And I say free, but there are some strings attached to this one. You have to have the paid version of Reactor 6, so not the free Reactor 6 player. Also, if you wanna get deeper into the software, I actually have a full video on it. I'll link it up above, and also in the description. I go into several ways of how to use it with different instruments, but today we're just gonna be focusing on the drums. This is YouTube, and so I know everyone's looking for free or at least cheap ways to improve improve the tracks and this is literally instant it's like instant improvement on your drums so this is the track here that we're going to be working on it doesn't have an official title yet unfortunately synth bass drums vocode and vocal one shots here are the drums soloed without the audio degradation suite on them Here's what that sounds like with the rest of the track. Okay, so it already sounds pretty good. I'm gonna turn on Reactor 6 uh, Audio Degradation Suite. Open the plugin here. This is the default setting, so I'm not, I haven't changed anything here, I'm just turning the plugin on. Let's hear the before and after. It's instant, like it instantly adds grit to your drums. It cuts some of the high end, but the low end is a lot punchier. The mids get a bit beefier. It just sounds meaner. I'll keep the drum solo. The next thing I'll do is just turn this one knob up, the drive knob, and you'll hear a difference. The drive knob basically just accentuates the quality of the plugin. If you want, you could also add compression. Let's hear that. Lastly, I'll show you how the plugin affects the EQ of the drum. So I have an EQ open here. Those drums sound good. Lately, I've been using this plugin on pretty much all of my drum buses to give it that extra punch. That being said, I don't really mind the cut in the high end because I've been producing lo-fi quality tracks, so it just fits well with what I'm doing. So if you're going for softer, more feathery drums, this is definitely not the plugin for you. But like, why would you be here? Did you read the title of this video? Just kidding. Like I said before, I have another video that goes a lot deeper into this plugin and how to use it with different instruments. That's linked in the description and yeah, that's the quick tip of the day. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.